Psychology. In this video, you will learn how to examine second cranial nerve that is optic nerve. It is special sensory nerve concerned with vision. Optic nerve is examined under following headings. Visual acuity for distant and near vision, field of vision, color vision and pupillary reflexes. For this, we will require Snellen's test type, Jager's test type, Ischiara chart, Conven's wool and Pentorch. Let us begin with visual acuity. It is the shortest distance by which two point objects can be separated and still be perceived as two separate points. Let us understand with the help of diagram. As seen in this diagram, when two closely placed point objects make visual angle of one minute, they will be perceived as two separate points. The same principle is used in construction of Snellen's test type. So let us understand this principle with the help of diagram. Individual type in the Snellen's test type is inscribed in a box which makes visual angle of 5 minutes at a given distance. Thickness and other parameters of the type make visual angle of 1 minute. So here is the topmost type that is number 2 and it makes visual angle of 5 minutes and 1 minute at a distance of 60 meters. Similarly, each number in this last line will make visual angle of 5 minutes and its thickness will make visual angle of 1 minute from distance of 6 meters. These test types are available in various languages, numbers, pictures and for illiterates we can use this special test type called as Landlord's Brains. Distant vision is examined for each eye separately as well as combined and if person already has spectacles then the procedure is repeated again with the spectacles. Subject reads this chart from 6 meters distance from top to bottom and examiner notes the number of lines till which he is able to read it properly. The finding is expressed as a ratio of distance between the subject and the chart to the distance till which he can read the lines. The procedure is repeated for each eye separately and then for both eyes. Let us begin with clinical examination of distant vision. For this, we need Snellen's test type. Here is our Snellen's test type. So this is the topmost number. A normal person can read this particular number from distance of 60 meters. So these numbers at corresponding lines represent the distance from which a normal person can read these lines. Snellen's test type is read from the distance of 6 meters. Here is our subject. He is sitting at a distance of 6 meters away from the chart. Remove your spectacle. Cover your one eye. And read this chart from top to bottom, line by line. I will say the line. Okay. First line. Two. Next. Zero five. Next. Three six. No, I can't read that. Okay. His vision is six by twenty-four for right eye. Okay. Cover your right eye. Read first. Two. Next. Zero five. Next. Three six. Four. Okay. Can't read? Zero. No, I can't. Okay. So, for left eye also, his vision is 6 by 24. Now, read with both eyes to read. 2, 0, 5, 3, 6, 4. I can't read. Four, okay. Binocular vision is also 6 by 24. Now wear your spectacle, cover your one eye and read again from top. 2, 0, 5, 3, 6, 4, 4, 9, 5, 2, 6, 0, 4, 9, 3, 5, 8, 3, 2, 
zero six. That's all I can read. Okay. Which spectacle right eye vision is six by nine? Now repeat it. Left eye. Two zero five three six four four nine five two six five. I can't read. Which spectacle for left eye his vision is six by eighteen? Read both eyes. Two zero five. Three six four four nine five two six zero four nine three five nine three two zero six zero four nine eight. Okay, we cannot read the last line. So, which spectacles also? His binocular vision is six by nine. That means his power has changed a little. So, we need to correct his power. His binocular vision is six by nine. That means what a normal person can read from nine meters distance, subject is able to read from six meters. That means he has short sightedness. That is myopia. Now let us see how to examine near vision. It is done by using Jeeger's test type. Subject is asked to hold the chart at twenty-five centimeter distance. And read it from top to bottom. First with right eye, then with left, and then with both eyes. Finding is expressed as smallest type, which subject can read comfortably. Jeeger's test type is also available in various languages, pictures, and language rings. Let us begin with the testing of visual acuity for near vision. For this, we are using Jeeger's test type. It is available in different languages. We can choose the language whichever the subject is comfortable with. Which language will you prefer? English. Okay. So hold this. Remove your spectacle. Cover your one eye. And read from top to bottom. India, Cross, Aryan, Rahul, Arjun, Ragini. Jasmine, Priya, Pradeep, Television, Marble, Pet, Bilaspur, Nagaland, Allahabad. Okay. Now cover your other eye. Okay. Cross, Aryan, Rahul, Arjun, Jasmine, Ragini, Priya, Pradeep, Television, Ahindra, Marble, Maya, Pet, Bilaspur, Nagaland, okay. Allahabad. Read both eyes. India cross Aryan Rahul Arjun television tabla marble Aryan Bilaspur Jaunpur Bengal lemon okay. so his near vision with right eye left eye as well as binocular is n6 so his near vision is perfectly normal because he is very spectacular we can repeat with the specs also cover your one eye India, Cross, Aryan, Rahul, Arjun, Ragini, Jasmine, Priya, Pradeep. Mm -hmm. Television, Tabla, Ahindra, Nikita. Marvel, Ayan, Mayan, Netaji, Rakesh. Allahabad, Bengal, Lemon. Mm -hmm. India, Cross, Aryan, Rahul, Ragini, Priya, Arjun, Jasmine, Pradeep, Television, Ahindra, Tabla, Nikita, Marvel, Mayan, Pet, Ayan, Netaji, Rakesh, Bilaspur, okay. Allah. Now, same procedure will be repeating with both eyes combined. India, Cross, Aryan. Rahul, Arjun, Ragini, Jasmine, Priya, Pradeep, Television, Tabla, Ahindra, Nikita, Marble, Ayan, Mayan, Netaji, Pet, Rakesh, Bilaspur, Jaunpur, Bengal, Lemon. So his vision here, vision is ten six. Here we have finished with visual acuity. Next we will learn how to examine field of vision. It is precisely mapped by using perimeter. 
shown in this picture is mechanical one and nowadays even computerized perimeters are available but a simple bedside test called confrontation test can guide a clinician about any loss in particular field so let us understand this test the most important thing here is that examiner's field is assumed to be normal and subject's field is compared with examiner's the subject and examiner they sit opposite to each other at a distance of 1 meter with their eye levels matching subject covers right eye and examiner covers his left eye they fix their gaze in each other's eye examiner brings his finger from periphery towards the center and subject has to say yes as soon as he sees the finger if both visualize the finger at the same time subject's field is considered as normal for that quadrant the procedure is repeated in all four quadrants for both eyes separately okay now let us examine field of vision by confrontation test this is the bedside test for checking field of vision so subject and the examiner they are sitting 1 meter in front of each other you remove your spectacle cover your left eye i'll be covering my right eye and you have to fix your gaze in my eye okay look in my eye don't move your eye okay and you have to see my finger and whenever you see my finger you have to say yes okay i'll be moving my finger from away to the middle okay let's start okay yes So you can see the finger immediately at the farthest point. So its temporal field of vision is normal because I also can see this. Okay. Now let us see the superior field. Look in my eyes. Don't move your eyeball. Say yes whenever you see the finger tip. Yes. Okay. Even I can see at this point. So its superior field is normal. Yes. Okay. The inferior field is normal. Yes. Okay. So this is the nasal field. So at every time, whenever I was seeing the fingertip, at the same time he was seeing the fingertip. So for this field of vision for right eye is normal. Now I will check his left field of vision. So he covered his right eye. I am covering my left eye. Look in my eyes. Okay. When you see the finger, say yes. Yes. Okay. So this is the temporal field for left eye. Yes. Okay. This is the inferior field. Yes. This is the nasal field for his left eye. Yes. And this is the superior field for the left eye. So this field of vision for left eye is also normal. So this is confrontation test. Now let us see how to examine color vision. It can be assessed by Ishiara chart, Hornbeck's Wolf test, or by Edrich Green lantern. A chart chart is a series of color plates each plate has some number or lines made of color dots on a background of confusing color dots based on the subject's response diagnosis is made with the help of manual for example in this plate a normal person reads 74 whereas The person with red green blindness reads it as 21. Okay, to examine color vision, we will be doing first by Ishiara chart. Read this number. 12, 2, 9, 35, 96. Can you see the line? If yes, you have to press the line. Yes. Okay. 
Is there any line here? Yes. Can you see any line here? Two marks? No, I can't. Okay. Here, is there any line or number? No. Is there a line here? Yes. Okay. So, he could read the numbers and he could uh, press the lines properly and when there are no lines, he didn't see any line. So, that means his color vision is normal. Next test for color vision is by congruence pool test. So, for this we have two sets of color rules. One set will be with the subject and other set will be with the examiner. Examiner will select one color and subject has to select the same color from his set. Okay. So, I will be selecting one color and the same color you will select from this. Okay. Okay. So, all the colors he selected properly. That means his color vision is normal. Now the last thing we have to check for the reflexes, light reflex and a commercial reflex. Okay, look straight and we are going to flash the light from lower quadrant of the face and look for pupillary constriction. So it's pupil constricts and do not keep the flash of the light constantly for longer time in the angle. As soon as you see the pupillary constriction, remove the light. Repeat the procedure on the other side. This is called as direct light reflex. Next we will study consensual light reflex. Keep your hand like this. Now we are going to show light in one eye and look for pupillary constriction in the other eye. Okay, repeat the procedure from the other side. Okay, this is concentration light reflex. Now we do accommodation reflex. Look at some distant point and whenever I say look at my fingertip. Swing straight. Now look at my finger. Okay. Again look again. Look at my finger. Okay. These are certain important questions on this topic. If you like my video, share it with your friends, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also press the bell icon for latest notification. Thanks for watching.